Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to make these little simple speed lines. First thing I'm going to do is just organize my scene a little, get rid of my camera in the view, and there we go. And the easiest way to do this, just because this is for viewport play blast display, we're not actually like rendering this out. Um, we're going to use, where are we here? We're going to use a plane, faces, and select the face, scale it way down, scale it across, and you'll see just barely, if we zoom in here, there's a little streak here. So we can just kind of like scale it up the size that we think we want it to see it in the viewport. Now what we're going to do, make sure we have plane selectable, go into our materials. So material attribute, assign new material, our new material attribute pops up. Let's just use a Lambert, whatever, and we'll give it a dark color. Looks good. Now let's look at it with our background. It's going through the floor, so let's just take it, move it up just a few frames so it's not fighting the space. There we go. And now let's just duplicate this. Okay, there we go. Now let's go back in, assign new material, go back to our Lambert. And let's make this one a little brighter. Not too bright. Actually, I want to take this one and make it a little less dark. All right. Now we want to animate them. So what I'm going to do is just grab this one, move it to a place that looks kind of good, move this one to a place that looks kind of good around there just so they're kind of offset all we have to do is take it duplicate it a bunch of times all right so let's just select all of them s key go over here s key and let's just animate them over here s set it to linear curve cycle, post affinity cycle, and now whenever we watch, we have speed lines, but they're all going at the same time. So to vary it up, we'll just go in, uh, we'll select a few, just at random, and then we'll just drag this over a few frames, and now it's a little bit more offset. Let's offset a little more. All right, that looks kind of cool. Now, maybe we want to offset it a little bit more. It's still a little bit too refined. Let's bring this. There we go. Let's take a look at that. Looking pretty good. I think we can call this good to go. Finished. Nothing else to do. Gives you good enough look for uh, any kind of like viewport animation that you want to do just to make it look a little bit cooler. And that's it. Have fun.